If you see this guy, pick him up if you can get him cheap. I sold him for $24.80 plus shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low, really low, and sell for a decent profit. These are items I sold on eBay for $35 or less or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here with the first one. And as I go through the video, leave me a comment of something that is unexpected that you may have walked past that you may think about picking up. Or you may be watching this and think, I'm not going to list that. That's not worth my time. So leave me all those comments down below. Um, happy to Listen to your feedback. See what you guys think about the things I'm selling. So let's get started. I am not your average reseller. I like to uh, I like to source different things. So these little trains, uh, wood vehicles, these are not branded. So I wasn't sure how they were going to do, but I was like, you know what? I want to see if I can sell them. I got these at the Goodwill Benz. I ended up taking a best offer of $10 plus shipping on these. So they ended up selling. Some of them are magnetic, as you can see, but most of them are just the little wood vehicles. I'm sure there's a brand to them, but I was not able to find it. So I just marked them as unbranded. This item here came out of a box that I got from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And it was a box of toys. I have an unboxing on the channel if you want to check it out. But all of the packaging was dusty, dirty, damaged. And I knew that when I bought it. But I also knew that it had potential. I have almost sold every single item out of that box. Uh, the items were fantastic. But you guys know me. I'm kind of a lazy reseller. I don't really like to clean things. So what I did is I took them out of the box and sold them as pre-owned. So this guy right here, um, he took a little longer to sell. He's from 1996. He's Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. And he had one sword. I think maybe he was supposed to have two. Uh, and it just, it wasn't a part of it. Now, I will say that um, this was in the original box. So if I remember, I'm pretty sure it was. And I took it out. So maybe it just got shifted around or lost. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this one was a major bread and butter. Sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. Vintage hair rollers. These are 12 brush hair rollers by D or their size D Morris Flamingo, Italy. One dozen new old stock. <laughs> I got these at a thrift store for 50 cents and I'm sorry, but I just couldn't pass them up because they were old and weird and made in Italy. So I sold these for $15 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Pantyhose, vintage pantyhose. Now these range from bread and butter to big money. They are kind of all over the place. Sizes are important. Um, packaging is important, how the item is made, what the item is made of. So do your research if you see vintage pantyhose because some of them can go for crazy money. These right here, I ended up taking a best offer of $20 plus shipping and I got those from an estate clean out. This is a Chowder Cartoon Network toy figure and you may have seen this. I did a short on it. And this one was a nice little surprise. I can't remember where I got it. For some reason in my mind, I'm thinking it came from the Goodwill bins, but I didn't mark it down for some reason. But I'm guessing I paid 50 cents or less for it. It is Chowder Cartoon Network toy figure. Couldn't find hardly anything like it. So I did put rare in the title. I don't do that very often, but I did for this one. And this guy sold for $31 plus shipping. So be on the lookout for any of the Chowder Cartoon Network toys. Blaze and the Monster Machine. I have sold this guy multiple times. His wheels morph. He is a morpher. He is Zeg and he is poseable. If you see this guy, pick him up if you can get him cheap. 
I sold him for $24.80 plus shipping. I got him at the Goodwill bins and I could not put him in my cart fast enough. I knew he was a great bread and butter bolo. This is a Trianosaurus T-Rex toy, major trading company dinosaur. Now, this is not a brand that I am super familiar with. Um, right here is the information, but it was a hard plastic and I went ahead and took a chance on it. I also got this at the Goodwill bins. I sold it for $7 and 44 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Some of the dinosaurs can do really well. Here's Scooby-Doo. This is Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. He is a plush and I got him at the bins for $1 uh, the bigger plush at the dollar, if they're bigger, they will do a dollar instead of by weight. Uh, and that kind of varies. Sometimes they have specials going on. I don't know if that's always. So uh, some, maybe ask at your bins if they have any specials on their plush for the bigger ones, and they'll let you know. Uh, I sold this for $26 plus shipping. Kohl's Cares. I always say I don't pick up Kohl's Cares. They don't sell for any money. I, they don't, they're so slow, blah, 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 blah. But the Rebel Reseller, like says that they sell. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get this Kohl's Cares. I got it at the bins. And you want to know what, you guys? It sold so fast. Now, I only sold it for $7.80 plus shipping, but it sold so fast. So it was kind of cool just to do that little experiment and to see it work. So make sure you're following the Rebel Reseller. She is fantastic. Her and her husband do a great job over on their YouTube channel. They sell tons of plush super educational channel and great, great people. So go sub them up. I will link them down below. The next item came from an estate sale. It's a vintage baby, nine months old, footed sleeper. It had the original tag. So I went ahead and picked it up. Probably had about a dollar in this. I sold it for a best offer of 12 plus shipping. The next item is going to be like, what? You really, number one, took the time to sell this. And number two, thought to sell this. Yes to both. Uh, did I make a ton of money? No, but I just couldn't help myself. I had to see if this would sell and how fast it would sell. And it sold fast. Well, fast for a replacement part. Some replacement parts can sit for years. So let's see. When did I list this? I listed this on... Let me see if I can find it here. We've got all this advertising... I listed this in February. So yes, it sold fast. In my opinion, that is fast. And it is a Lego Duplo and it is a vanity mirror replacement. And I will tell you that I looked and looked and looked in this tote and I could not find this thing because I had it in a Ziploc bag all by itself and it was buried under other stuff. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I spent way too much time looking for it. So that was a little bit frustrating. But anyway, I sold this for $6.50 plus shipping. And it's a good thing I didn't have this in my reseller vlog because you guys would have had to watch me dig and dig and dig. Here is another item that if I see it, I am picking it up because these sell great. They are Creative Men Memories Custom Cutting System. They are cartridges and they look like this when you open them up. They've got little like razors on them and you use them to like cut circles and shapes and different things like that for scrapbooking. And they're a home run. Now, are they big money? No, but if you can get it for a dollar or less, it's usually a pretty quick flip if you price it right. I sold this for $10.40 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Girl Scout stamp. This did take a long time to sell, but I paid 50 cents for it and sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. So really nice little profit there. This is the Nick and Noel Calico Cat stuffed animal. I thought this one was going to comp out a little higher. I don't usually do comps on my plush when I pick them up, especially if I pick them up at the bins because they're just so cheap. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. These dice, these came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for them. When I got them, I wasn't sure if they were going to be good or not good. And I didn't have much luck looking them up. Some of their, there was some kind of some damage on them. So I took a best offer of $10 on these and the buyer paid shipping. And I was happy to see them go. So 50 cents into ten dollars do you guys like those margins or is that no not for you one thing that i will tell you is i do have big money bolos but these items are cheaper to buy easier to find and they keep my store consistently having sales so 
If you are one of those people that only sources big money bolos and you're selling one item a day, you may want to consider branching out and doing smaller sales because you might have 10 items that sell for $100. Yes, you're going to be shipping a little more, but your cost of goods, if you keep your cost of goods low, in my opinion, it's worth it. I also want to show you this little tool that I use. It's called a caliper. You can get one of these on eBay really, really cheap, and it's a great way to show measurements for your item. So um, just an inexpensive, great business tool, great for jewelry. Um, but yeah, definitely pick one of those up if you don't have one. Here is a Thai Pluffies. And I did a video on Thai Pluffies. Uh, it was one that kind of surprised me when I was doing comps on these. And they actually sell for decent money. A lot of the Thai don't do very well anymore, but the Pluffies do okay. I got this at the bins, so probably less than a dollar. And I sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. And it sold pretty quickly. This is a Creative Memories decorative paper trimmer. This came in a big lot of Creative Memories items. This is probably not something I would pick up because it's kind of annoying to ship. And it was just a part of my lot. So I went ahead and listed it and it sold. So it was a good experiment. I mean, I already had it. I had already paid for it. So why not list it? Let's see if it sells. Well, it sold. It sold for $13.64 plus shipping. These are the Zoo Talkers. I always pick up the Zoo Talkers. Now, these are Fisher Price little people, but let me show you what you're looking for. On the bottom, they say Zoo Talkers. And they go to a special set. And when you put it onto the set, it makes the playset talk. And I think it, I think, I don't know. I've really never, if I have, I don't remember ever sticking one on the set to see. I just am pretty sure that it's based on maybe the shape underneath. And it'll talk differently for each one. If I had to guess, you guys let me know in the comments if you've ever played with one of these or know how they work. But that's what I'm assuming because see how the shapes are all different? So Zoo Talkers, nice little bolo. Got these at the Good, or no, I'm sorry. Where did I get these? Yes, I got these at the Goodwill Bins. I sold these for $24.80 plus shipping. This is a Stormtrooper Star Wars bear. Got this at the Bins. And I sold this for $14.26 plus shipping. I also got this Disneyland Sally plush. She's a little bit harder to find. And I got her at the bins also, sold her for $15.50 plus shipping. And these items sold to Pinky's Secondhand Store. Definitely go give her a follow right here. You can save any seller by clicking on the heart. She has great stuff, great, great items. Go and give her a follow. And um, yeah, kind of looking through her store, see what all she's got here. She bought this from me. She bought this from me. So what she does is she'll buy stuff from me and then she will relist it in her store. So it's just how she shows support and she makes her money back and maybe on some of the items makes a profit. But this guy right here, she paid my full asking price and he was a big money bolo. I did a whole video on it. So she told me when she bought him, I'm going to relist him. And I just saw him. So you guys go show her some love with a follow. She's awesome. Lego Duplo flowers, lot of six, various colors. These are replacements. Again, Lego Duplo replacements. Got these at the Goodwill bin. So probably have 50 cents or less in them. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And the buyer was actually all in for $15.68 for these. This is a vintage Baby World Company yellow squirrel squeeze squeak squeaker toy. I can't remember where I got this. I might've got it at the bins. I don't know. Do you guys, you guys that watch my Goodwill bins videos, did this come from the bins? I didn't write it down for some reason. Ended up taking a best offer of $20 plus shipping on that. This is a Ghostbusters translucent Slimer Titans vinyl figure. This sold really quickly for $13 plus shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill bins. All right, you guys, if you have not seen any of my Goodwill Bins videos, go check them out. I'm like actually physically recording while I dig through the bins. So you guys get to tell me everything that I missed, things that you would have picked up that I didn't pick up. And then everybody can go look in the comments and see the bolos that I missed. It's great. It's a great way to learn. And I have no problem with you guys telling me the things you would pick up. 
Now, some of the things you would pick up, I wouldn't pick up because number one, I don't want to ship them or I'm just not excited about it. I like to list and sell things that excite me. I actually had a whatnot show the other night and it was on ephemera and it went really good, but I probably didn't have that same energy that I normally have because I just wasn't super excited about it. I was like showing all these postcards and I'm like, postcard, 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 where I would rather be like, look at this beautiful piece of jewelry or look at these toys or, you know. So I guess to me, I like to sell things that I like. Does that make sense? And um, over on Whatnot, I love selling jewelry. I have a toy show coming up. I'm super excited about that. I will do more ephemera. I've done vintage Christmas over there. I love selling Christmas. So stick with what you love. And I think it makes your job like more happy and more exciting, you know? And some things are just easier to ship. And I like easy shipping. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite thing to sell. I have lots of favorites, but um, I really like toys. If you noticed in this video, I sold a lot of toys. They're easy to list, easy to ship, and super easy to find everywhere. So everybody has toys, thrift stores, garage sales, the Goodwill bins, estate sales. They are everywhere. So um, yeah, let me know. Drop me a comment of your favorite thing to sell. If you guys aren't following me on whatnot, definitely come on over. There's a referral link down below. You'll get $15 to shop if you use that to join whatnot. I would love to see you guys at a show. Even if you don't buy anything, just come over and watch. It's live. So we get to hang out. Uh, super fun. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know which bolo of mine that I showed that you didn't know about that you might just pick up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.